ready, yeah, fire away. Take it to them. Chris, Matt, you are fighting every, every round on Saturday. Can you please tell me, how's your camp gone? Great. I was, I was on weight uh, three weeks ago. So, um, I'm fit, I'm strong, I've got a lot of energy. And uh, you know, I had great sparring, sparring a lot of big guys, heavyweights, screws of weights, light, light heavyweights. Um, so I'm ready to go in there and make a statement. Does it bother you that it can sometimes be a dirty fighter? Are you prepared for those sort of things? Should it come to them? I've, I've been, I've sparred, I've shared the ring with many dirty fighters. I know all the tricks, I, you know, there's nothing he's going to do which I haven't had done to me before or seen before. Um, and if he wants to fight dirty, then two can play at that game. What have you done different in this camp to previous camps, training camps? I wouldn't say I've done anything different. I've, you, know, I, you know, obviously you have an opponent and you look at his weaknesses, you study him, and you, you work on things that you believe will be effective in the fight. So in that sense, you know, I've trained or prepared uh, with just with him in mind, focusing on what I think is going to be better to beat him. But in general, it's just it's been the same. And you know, I'm always intense. I'm always training. You know, 100 percent. Uh, so yeah, everything's everything's on track. What would it mean for you to win the Super 8? And do you see that Super 8 competition as the one that would truly elevate you to where you need to be? Because if you think about it, people like Andre Ward and Carl Frog use that to basically elevate their careers That's right. to the top. Is that what you aim to do? It's a great opportunity for me to go in there and prove to the world I'm the best super middleweight. Out there. And obviously, you have George Groves who has his world title belt. So, uh, you know, taking that strap is a huge incentive for me to go in there and, uh, and, and beat these guys and dominate them and dominate the tournament. Do you think, with all due respect to all the boxers in Britain, do you share the view that the, your biggest fight in Britain here could be one against James the Girl if you could get it together? Yes. Share your thoughts with me, please. I've, I've, been, I've been trying to trying to get that fight now for years. He doesn't want to fight, he's scared. Um, he went in for shoulder surgery recently. I said that he needs to go in there and get his heart surgery done so that he can come out there with some courage to get in the ring with me because he doesn't want to fight. You know, I put, I put it on him at the David Hay fight. I said to him, listen, you know, why hasn't this fight happened? You know, he, he couldn't give me an answer. Um, but you can't want forever, so eventually, uh, after the Super 8 series, I believe, you know, he'll have nowhere else to go. How does the dynamics of you know having your dad in your corner a big boost or just like any other trainer? I, I learned I've learned a lot from my father throughout the years. The advice, the guidance he gives me is um, the second to none. So I, I, I always have him in my corner. I, I, I benefit greatly from having him in my corner. Interview won't be complete if I don't ask you about your beloved Brighton Football Club, who are in the Premiership for the first time ever. What do you hope for them? to achieve? Is it just to keep their head above water or do you expect them to? I hope for them to achieve exactly what I'm looking to achieve and that's greatness in their sport. Uh, very proud that they're in the, you know, at the top of the league now um, in, in Division 1 and uh, yeah, if you put your heart and soul into it there's no reason why you can't reach the sky. So you want to settle for nothing less? No, they, they need to win. Nothing but the best? They want to win. They want One to last win. question, apart from your dad, in boxing. Who would you say is your hero, or who did you look up to? As growing up, and even today, I, I always used to watch uh, the best fighters in my weight. So, you know, fighters like um, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hearns, uh, Duran, Hagler, Roy Jones Jr., my father. You know, any fighter that was kind of in my weight that I could look at and see that I could take parts of their fighting style and add to my own. Those were the guys that I watched. We know that you, your dad had a rivalry with Nigel Ben. Could that happen? You and Connor any day or is it a no-no? I don't believe he has the, the uh, I don't believe he has the, the ability. I don't think he's going to last much longer in the game. Hopefully I'm wrong because it would be great to uh, to relive that, that rivalry. Um, but, you know, he's young, he's not my weight, uh, and I don't believe he has the, the ability to last. But we'll see, you know, if, if in, a, in a few years' time, if he bulks up, we'll get on. All the best. Okay. I've got one for you. McGregor, Mayweather, who wins? 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. All that matters is the money. It's a money fight. They're, they're going in there and they're getting paid. Um, but listen, Connor's going to go in there and he's going to... Uh, he's going to be ferocious. He's, he's going to do what he always does, which is he's going to entertain. He's going to put it all on the line. Will it be enough? I don't know. I, you know, it's hard to see. But, you know, the... Uh, the will of an Irishman is, is a very uh, hard thing to uh, to overcome. Make, you know, so he could he could pull off. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, um, Thank you.